dear friends I wish you a very happy 2022 year and happy knitting hello and welcome in knitting in Mauritius welcome in Mauritius um, uh, this is the first podcast uh, short, it will be short uh, post podcast in 2022 I welcome you in my uh, channel and I would like to also invite you to my um, Instagram and I made with a smile. I'm trying to smile even when there is some negativity uh, sometimes around me, but let's see and have uh, uh, good lives. And when we uh, smile, we spread also love to another people. I'm sorry, I'm squeezing my eyes today a little bit because it is really sunny. I decided to uh, podcast to record outside in the garden that you can see and uh, recall the beautiful beautiful uh, hibiscus here behind me and the beautiful noise of the birds talking in the garden today is a special day today because of two things today is my birthday i'm turning 47 today and also i'm releasing a pattern for my top and uh, I would like to invite you today to buy um, the pattern and to like it and <laughs> I hope it will be, uh, you will love it. Um, I will just tell you about the pattern uh, but also I would like to tell you about the wool a lot and uh, something uh, else. The regular uh, podcast will be made in one or two weeks i see i have millions of things to share with you millions from private life to to yarn and to finish product and to uh working pro work work in progress uh, which are new cast on and which are finished from uh 2021 and which are on progress i mean i have a lot of lot of lot of lot of things to show you and i think it will be going into two podcasts uh, one after each other because it will be really a lot of things i did a lot of knitting over the christmas and new year and now until the 20th of january and um yeah a lot of knitting a lot of happiness and a lot of passes came here with the new wool so I will share this all with you by the next podcast. In about a week, this new podcast will be done and then another one in, I think, very soon again. I would like to tell you today, it's, I mean, it's very hot, as you can see. It's very hot. I will just present to you the, pat, the, the top. But what I'm having today, I received a gift today, uh, umbrella, Indian umbrella, which people use, it's handmade. It's hand embroidered, and um, even even the uh, ho uh, um, holder is uh, covered with a fabric. So it is uh, today I receive as gift from my family an Indian umbrella against the sun, so I can protect myself today a little bit while I'm recording. Um, this is one of the gifts I received today morning. Uh, we sort of self-quarantining right now. Um, we have been on a mass uh, on Saturday and there was one lady who unfortunately got COVID and we self-quarantining until I don't know when, but we we are sitting at home so the, the um, birthday will be celebrated only with my Two kids and my husband so small birthday but doesn't matter it's beautiful um so let's talk uh, let me talk about the top which i would like to introduce to you and it was tested it is um a bit of sort of problematic i can put the umbrella for the moment down because sun is behind the clouds uh, the name is erupting volcano top so this will be the this is the pattern Eraptic volcano top. There is my picture. As you can see, I was photographed once time by my son. <laughs> and um, this is a 10 pages pattern, but you don't need to print everything because there is an information about uh, how I came on the name. Eraptic volcano because it is, when I was knitting it, uh, it um, was reminding me about Mauritius 
and the countryside here. I mean, when you're going on a, I mean, okay, this is the Yan, but um, which reminds me about this um, country, but also it's a little the shape because it's a lot of a bit of volcanic <laughs> shape too. So uh, when you're going here on the beach side, you see all these gray rocks and this Yan from the wool kitchen. It's amazing. It's um, this is what I have left, so I will show you. It's amazing. It's sometimes less gray and sometimes more darker gray. Then you have the pulling. Let me pull. Then you have the pulling of the orange here around. So uh, the this is uh, the yarn from wool kitchen. The wool kitchen I will put down and in the knots also down, and it is written on the pattern too. Um, I love the yarn. I love the yarn how it was knitting. It was so easy uh, for me knitting up. It's flowing on a, on the fingers. I was using chagus, um, the chagus, the in her interhenge. I like them. You could use it also wooden needles, I believe, because it would be but sharp ones to knit the pattern. So the wool in the kitchen. This is the zip. Uh, the zip yarn from them. Uh, I will show you the the tag here, the wool kitchen. So long zip, the name of the yarn is 400 meters by 100 gram, and it's 25 uh, percent of nylon and 75 percent super wash blue face lister. So this is the this is the tag for the wool. I know one of the companies also making. Uh, the yarn i will tell you about it on the end of the podcast on the movie and i would like i will tell you a few names where you can get the yarn the pulling is amazing i know the um the uh, chasing rabbit fiber company i have also yarn from them but not the pulling yarn um they also um they were actually the the people who introduced the kind of yarn to the market and they did the uh, calico calico shawl you can find on the ravelry i will put all here on the top and you can read it and on the uh, notes also calico uh, ya uh, yarn no calico shawl from uh, chasing rabbit uh, and the designer called dawn Barker, I think Barker, B A R K E R, Biker. Uh, but I got the yarn from at the time when I was buying the yarn and was looking for it. The Chasing Rabbit didn't have the yarn on stock, so I got it from the Wool Kitchen, and I'm really, really, really happy with the yarn. I got two yarns, so 800 meters. I used two for my for my top. Um, with knitting, I would like to mention something. With knitting, you are your own uh, designer in a way. Uh, you, yes, you follow some directions from the designer. You follow some some um, uh, stitch counts from the designer and the pattern, the pulling uh, pattern, let's say, from the designer. But on the end of the day, you creating your own piece of garment which you always can adjust also while you're knitting it so why i want to talk about this pattern today a bit more so the erupting volcano top looks like this i will just go up and you can see the i will move it a bit and you can see the top my is longer you can always knit shorter when you want my is with a lot of east uh, east i like loose loose uh, patterns uh, there was a lady who was testing it and it, it she needed in yeah, uh, size small you can see on the when you will buy the pattern you can see the pictures um, on the rubber you can see the picture sorry and it's much smaller and much more uh, tighter to her body uh, the, uh, the sleeves they becoming very tight when you're knitting them but when you block they you have a lot of space here in the sleeves you can when you have more yarn you can of course need the long sleeves it's all up to you but the top looks like this 
I must say, I must say, I'm very happy with this. And I have, I'm very happy with the loose, loose feet of the top. Um, this is the size number two. And um, I'm happy with the pulling, how it happened and with the design. I will come closer now, you can see. Sometimes you can see that the pulling makes a hole, but it's normal because you very often also you going uh, into the same stitch few times. And also you uh, do the pulling where, it, let's say for example here, I did, I oh, sorry. I think here, I think I did it six or seven pullings in one place. So there will be small holes around, but uh, actually it doesn't matter because it's you creating your own piece of art. And um, I love the, the one, one what be, it's here, I think I would just adjust a bit more. I will tie it maybe, this is a hole here, maybe doesn't look so great, but I like it anyway. So I'm wearing very often the top, even now in the summertime when I'm going shopping, it's very airy, very light, and it's not too warm at all. Um, I don't know why, but maybe because of the uh, of the size, it is um, uh, for me it is not hot uh, garment. So um, I like it very much. You using for the top here part and for the bottom uh, for the for the rib, you using three point twenty. Uh, five millimeters needles, uh, 3.75 millimeters needles, and you using for the whole body five millimeters needles, which is five, uh, US size five and US size eight needles. And you, you using, uh, you knitting all the time in the round. So this is seamlessly done top from the top to down. Uh, there is a special technique used that the pullings doesn't come in the same place. So you have to buy the pattern to get to know the, uh, the special technique. Any, in my pattern, any of your um, uh, changes you can do are written in, in the red, red marks. So you can see anything what you want to change and when you want to change, it will be red marked on the pattern. And um, also uh, the stitch count on the pattern can change slightly to more or less sometimes because the pulling is the major uh, design in the, in the, in the pattern. And when you pull, you can pull, um, let's say, make the stitch and you give here a bit more of the um, color stitch uh, yarn before and then you make the stitch or you can just, let's say, make this pulling here already. So it all depends how you will, uh, you will use the yarn and how the stitch of pulling you will, you will be using. So there is a special, a special stitch, uh, which is described in this uh, pattern. And also I will make small tutorial uh, to tell you, um, and I will link below also, I think, uh, how to make the special stitch. Um, but it's very easy. Actually, it's all described and it's very, very easy. Just I will not give you too much details because of course I want you to, uh, yeah, make me happy with the purchases of the uh, pullover top. I saw there is this um, by Chasing Rabbits, there are two patterns of uh, this shawls with um, this yarn, and now somebody is released also on Instagram a shawl with this kind of uh, yarn. Different types of pullings, they make a sort of stars and sort of uh, flower. This is different type of pulling. Um, uh, so Everybody is making different. I never saw a top. So that's why I got the idea to make a top and it's loose. And for me, I'm wearing even in the house now when it's a uh, high summer, I'm wearing it in the, in the house, just like a top and with very, very short uh, shorts, not to shock my kids, <laughs> but uh, I'm wearing in the house like um, 
tunica. So this is uh, my erupting volcano top, which I'm inviting you to buy from today on on Ravera. The link will be below. So one more time, I will show you the yarn. It's this what is left. It is um, pulling like this. And I will put here just now a picture of the yarn itself from Chasing Rabbits. Uh, no, from the wool and the kitchen, from wool kitchen and from Chasing Rabbit, you can go on the website and also see. Uh, there is also a lady, um, I have to read this, her name, uh, the Misad Misadventures of Skin Cocaine. So she's having a podcast and uh, she's having um, a shop, yarn shop, and I know she was also um, dying right now just these days uh, dyeing some zip pulling yarns so you can also use her yarn but definitely to support the wool kitchen will be beautiful and uh, the lady there is fantastic I get in contact with her showing her my top she was uh, amazed and she will also try to promote it um, now I will tell you what I got for my birthday I got the umbrella, which I will just use right now. I got a beautiful Peppa Jeans uh, not a, a glass to drink uh, alcohol, but it's a perfume. Let's see. Oops, I will put it on the side. So this is a perfume from my son. And let me just uh, try a bit. So that's my perfume. It smells wonderful. Peppa Jeans from London, uh, new perfume, new perfume for us. I don't know if you all saw it already in Europe or America or wherever you live. I got also, uh, just a second, from my husband and from my boys, a cool box. This is a cool box for two bottles of champagne or Prosecco, where you, op it's a, oops, now, how to open supposed to go easy ah maybe it's closed now because of the sun so the it's two bottles of prosecco in there and it's leather handle and it's a um, beautiful cool box for a beach site and that's it what i got uh, no i got a lot of flowers i got three buckets of flowers and some uh gift voucher also but it's fine that's that's all good uh, i'm very happy about my birthday I would like to wish um, another lady, another podcaster, her name is Anna Passe Trevino. I will put her name here and in the in and her link down below. Her birthday is also today. She is a podcaster. I found out a few days ago when I was uh, watching all the podcasts and this, she is new to me, Anna Passe. Uh, she's, her name is Anna, like my name is Anna. And she's also celebrating birthday today. So happy birthday to Anna. <laughs> happy birthday to Anna, which having her birthday on the 20th of January and to anybody who got birthday today. Um, and watching and not watching, be happy, stay happy, be happy and be um, content and healthy. Health, health is most important. So as I told you, I opened this pool box before. I will try maybe to open again. There's some... I think it's closing when it's too hot, but it's not, not correct. Ah, no, it's open. Ale. I open a Prosecco. And I have cooled down a glass of four champagne. So I will have a sip with you now, guys, for my birthday and for all our future. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to all of you. Happy to, birthday to Anna Passi and wish you a wonderful 2022 year and a lot of knitting a lot of beautiful yarn enjoy your time and be happy and smile have a look at my pattern take care bye cheers one more information the light colored uh, top which you can see on the picture now here is knitted by Anita Koeman in blue bar fiber 
in colorway Julie Aspen base bright eyes enjoy meeting enjoy life stay healthy and smile